So, Harry, the Home Office says it's irresponsible to uh, have these kind of services where no one could get in there, end to end encryption. Do you agree? Um, uh, the, the fact is it's not even possible to prevent end-to-end -end encryption. It is a technology that exists now. It's not just in WhatsApp, it's in Telegram, it's in Signal, it's in a number of, a number of messaging um, communications, and uh, uh, you can't prevent it. Uh, so um, what, what could the government do? They could potentially demand access to some of the metadata behind it, but I don't think there is a way, literally, that they could. This um, is the so-called backdoor. Exactly. I mean, there isn't really... Um, a way to have backdoor access to end-to-end -to -end encryption because the, the key changes every message. Uh, so uh, uh, you, um, uh, it, it's, it's a choice. You, you have to find another way of accessing it. And that would be potentially through accessing the phone or accessing, um, as I say, the metadata that Facebook would have. Uh, but that would only tell you who the person is messaged at a certain time. Right. So the way into it then necessarily, I mean, the, the WikiLeaks um, revelations, for example, revealed that the CIA can already intercept devices before a message has even gone on to WhatsApp. So if they can do it, why can't the UK intelligence services? Um, well, look, they may be doing it. Uh, the, there are ways to hack into phones um, and, uh, you know, hacking is, is, is an arms race, right? So um, uh, obviously phones are now the, the key means of communication and hackers are finding ways to, to, to sort of access people's phones. So if, if they can do it, so can um, the, the, the security services. Uh, so, yes, if you can access your phone, if I can access your phone from GCHQ, potentially sort of hack into it, then I'm, I'd be able to see the messages because they're in the phone, they haven't been encrypted at that point. Wouldn't find much on mine. <laughs> <laughs> My wife telling me what to bring home from the shops tonight, mainly. But uh, this, the back, this backdoor thing, I mean, what's the risk there? Potentially, if there is a backdoor, then the likes of the Russians or the Chinese or anyone else could hack into it as well. Exactly. I mean, uh, you know, it, we're in an arms race. If... Um, uh, if, if, you, if you open back doors, then you're just giving a back door to, to much more sophisticated hackers. This is a multi, multi billion dollar um, hacking industry, and uh, we would be making ourselves much more vulnerable. So, what would be the consequences then if Amber Rudd gets her way? Presumably, WhatsApp and Facebook become a whole lot less investable. Um, uh, I mean, uh, honestly, I don't see that happening. Um, uh, I, uh, I mean, clearly. If there were terrorists worried about th um, that, then they would just switch to another messaging application. So it would have very little tangible benefit in terms of fighting terrorism. Um, and uh, uh, for, for the users of Facebook and WhatsApp, um, frankly, knowing that all your messages could be read by Facebook, which is what you'd have to do if you ended end-to-end -end encryption, um, that's not very comfortable either, because you know how are they using that message, th those messages to target me? Notwithstanding that, though, Harry, I mean, the, the optics of this are pretty terrible for Facebook, aren't they? Yet again, I mean, they're not a company with a good image at the best of times, but, I mean, this looks like they're putting the nation's security at risk almost. Um, I think, look, they're providing a messaging platform that's, that's used by a billion people. Um, some of those messages are good, some are ill. I mean, do we ban the telephone because the telephone is being used um, as part of terrorism? I'm afraid terrorism is, you know, it was horrible what happened last week, and I cycle over Westminster Bridge every morning, and, you know, so it's very close to home. But at the same time, I cycled over this morning, and, uh, you know, it's a risk that, that I'm afraid we have to take. I'd much rather run that risk than... Um, than have effectively people sort of spying on me. All right, Harry Briggs from BGF Ventures. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in.